So welcome. Today is another beautiful Friday. My name is Kara, your health coach. It is such an honor to be here. And today, as always, we are zooming in on Kara, your health coach notebook. So I hope your notebook is ready. Here is my notebook. I hope you have your pen because we are going to take some notes here. I request that if your microphone is on, you can mute it so that we can have clear conversation. We can have a discussion. And I request that if you have any comment, anything you would want to say, you can go to our chat box and send as many messages, ask questions, comments, and all these things that uh, you would want us to see. Uh, I want to thank our team. Which team was number one? And unfortunately, I came in late, so I don't know who came number one. I am hoping that Team Kenya is uh, was number one today. Uh, or maybe it was still Team Uganda. <laughs> Douglas tells me that Team Uganda again is leading. So Team Uganda, you're doing very well. I'm very proud of you. And uh, I, we, 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 we celebrate. Yes, Makwasi Enos, you're doing an amazing job as a team leader. Team Uganda on top, that is amazing. Team Kenya, Team Uganda is really, you know, challenging you. So let's do this. Uh, but I'm really proud of all the teams. Ducky from the UK, I really appreciate you. I honor you for your support, my dear sister. And uh, uh, any other team member that I have forgotten, uh, we will see We will see who else is present today. So today we are talking about thyroid function and I'm glad that Kenneth, I hope Kenneth is around. Kenneth is the one who suggested that we have this conversation about the thyroid function. And uh, most people rarely have a conversation about thyroid function. Sometimes uh, we even go to hospital and the doctor sometimes maybe either by default or I don't know what happens, but they really don't take time to analyze the thyroid function. Yet the thyroid function is one very important thing that we are as we are going to see. I have a dozen of men and women who could be struggling with um, weight loss, weight gain and they are doing everything that they can with the diet with the exercise but nothing is happening one of the things that we will learn today is that your thyroid function determines completely your hormonal changes your weight gain or your weight loss something else that we will see today is that hormonal the thyroid your thyroid function also plays a role even in your fertility there are men and women who are struggling with fertility, the production and the management of testosterone, estrogen and progesterone, and they are doing everything else possible, but it is the thyroid function that has a problem. So now, as we start this conversation, we start by asking ourselves, what is the thyroid gland? We have different, we have different glands and the thyroid function that we're talking about is, we'll talk about the thyroid, the thyroid gland. So the gland is here. It is located. It is located in between. For the men, I know they can feel their Adam's apple, but it is here. Um, what can I say? It is not the throat. It is located somewhere here in between the throat. In the in between the throat. Now the most beautiful thing that God created is not everyone has. Okay, it's created to be like this. You know, like this. Huh? It is in between. The 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 uh the what the, the the Adam's apple which is a cartridge and it is it is connected it is interconnected but not everyone is created like that so some people have separate they have two different thyroid glands and that is very normal that is very very normal depending on the different things that uh, we can talk about so as um. As if, if we try to, if I try to explain this this uh, shape, normally the thyroid gland is explained to have a butterfly-like shape. You see, this shape is more of a butterfly, so it looks like a butterfly where it is. So the role of the thyroid gland is to control your metabolism and my metabolism, your metabolism and my metabolism. So um, I know we throw around the word metabolism, 
and maybe someone doesn't really understand what or who metabolism is and i know we will have a deeper conversation about our metabolism so for now allow me to just say that your metabolism is the way your body controls the uh, the energy that you have i think that is the, lim- the, the the least way i can explain that your metabolism is how your body controls the um, the energy that you have so the thyroid function is in charge of that now thyroid function controls your two core our thyroid controls different mm-hmm. things uh there's someone's mic that is not mute so i can we can hear some noise um kindly mute your microphone so um now that we have said that the thyroid function plays different roles in our bodies like breathing heart rate uh you know it 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 really plays a role in the the pass rate either high or low the central and peripheral nervous system your nervous system is also regulated by the thyroid function your body weight is regulated by the thyroid uh your muscle strength is also regulated by the thyroid your cholesterol levels uh your menstrual cycle for the women your body temperatures whenever maybe you find your body is very sensitive to high temperatures or low temperatures it is your thyroid that is not either functioning right which is it could be high or low so now i want to paint a picture for us we have known that this is the thyroid gland and we have said that the role of the thyroid gland is to control the metabolism okay so how does this thyroid gland control our metabolism so this gland is in charge it works together with two glands in the brain so as we said our body processes work like this our god is amazing the way he created our body we are a whole factory we are a whole body processes happening so in our mind in our brain we have hypothalamus and then we have pituitary gland so these two are the ones that work in conjunction with the, uh, the thyroid gland to produce two hormones that are able to control all these body processes that we have talked about now here is the catch for your thyroid function to be able to perform profi- properly for the thyroid function to be able to work properly it needs iodine from your diet iodine so uh, most people uh, know we get iodine from our salt and uh, one of the challenges that we make is that we overuse our table salt which is a bit high in iodine it is more or iodized and so if you consume too much it will definitely come with side effects so we will look at the other sources of iodine as we continue so um the thyroid function the thyroid the thyroid gland produces two hormones with the help when it is stimulated by the hypothalamus hypothalamus and pituitary gland it produces it re- it ha- it produces two hormones that are responsible of everything so because i don't want to complicate you with the many scientific names we will call them t3 and t4 t3 and t4 so t3 i'm just mentioning the name of t3 and then we from now henceforth we will refer to it as t3 it is called tri iod tri i <laughs> Uh, as always my english has just refused koi you are laughing at me <laughs> sometimes the english just refuses uh but i will type the word on our chat box and you can see but for now let's call it t3 and t4 so these two hormones they are the ones that help in the, the you know um uh they help in the uh, re- uh, production and the storage of the different hormones that we have talked about there are the hormones that regulate our menstrual cycle the hormones that regulate our nervous system and all things all these things so now something happens when t3 and t4 are not balanced so normally uh, remember we have said it's a process so the gland is here it is told by the brain to release t3 and t4 
when it releases T3 and T4, uh, they are able to, re to, to produce and store the different hormones that regulate our body systems. So what happens when the T3 and T4 are high, someone is diagnosed with a condition called hypo, um, uh, hyper, yes. When it is high, when the T3 and T4 are very high, you'll go to hospital and they'll tell you that you have a condition called hyperthyroidism, hyperthyroidism. So when someone is diagnosed with this hyperthyroidism, which I know Kenneth was talking about last week, those who were present last week, Kenneth asked about the, this condition. So what are the, some of the symptoms of high production of T3 and T4? Someone undergoes high anxiety. Someone will get highly irritab, irrit, irritated and moods. Uh, they will get nervous. They will be very hyperactive. They will keep sweating or sensitivity to high temperatures. They, some of them even tremble, their hands, their hands trembling, they shake. You know, they shake. Some of them will experience hair loss. They, some of, someone will, if it's a woman, they will experience, uh, they will miss their periods or they will have very, very light periods. So that happens when the, the hormones, the, the T3 and T4 are high. Now, what happens when they are low, below the normal, the normal standard? Eh? When it happens that T3 and T4 are low, it, the opposite happens. It, the condition, you go to hospital and you are diagnosed with a condition called hypothyroidism. Hypo. So hyper is high, hypo is low. And so when someone is experiencing a, a low, low levels of T3 and T4, they will experience insomnia. They'll not be able to sleep to sleep well and then the proper way. That means they will always be tired and fatigued. They will have difficulty in concentrating. They will have very dry skin and hair and the scalp. They will most likely be, they will suffer from depression. Uh, they, they will have sensitivity to cold temperatures. Remember for hyper, we've said they develop uh, sensitivity to high temperatures. Now for hypo, they develop sensitivity to low temperatures. Then they will have joint pains, muscle pains, and very heavy periods for the women, frequent and heavy periods for the women. So from the two conditions, we will realize that from hypo, most people will definitely be diagnosed with something close to arthritis. There are so many people who are being treated for arthritis who do not have per se arthritis, but it is their thyroid function that is low and it is not able to balance. That explains why when you come to Carol, your health coach, and she asks you several questions, they will, she will be able to decode and understand. Is it truly arthritis that is happening? Is it truly the back pain? Most people with back pain, like for example, you'll have someone with joint pains, back pains, uh, knees, uh, the, the, the toes and all these things. The first thing that you're told when you go to hospital is it is arthritis. But remember, it, you could be suffering because of other things. Someone could be suffering from joint pains because maybe of their posture, because of all these things. There's a day we had a conversation about joint pains. And if you want to watch uh, and to, to learn more about the joint pains, you can go to our YouTube channel, Rejuvenating Nature's Beam, and you will be able to learn these things. So when you go to our YouTube channel, you will see that joint pains are caused by different things. So imagine if your thyroid function is not proper and then every time you go to hospital you're being treated for something uh something like um most women we've also talked about hormonal imbalance in men and in women most women when they have hormonal imbalance when they go to hospital with periods that are either missing heavy or light mostly they are given either pills to stop the periods or for the men they are given something to control the testosterone but remember the root cause of that problem was not the home not that not the period it was in the thyroid it is therefore very important and that is the reason why Kara, your health coach is here to educate you and i am so proud of all of you who logged in because today you will learn that the next time you go to hospital or you have these symptoms you will be able to first 
be very quick to understand and to ask yourself, could this be my thyroid that is not functioning right? Because imagine if you have something like hand trembling, someone will tell me I'm tre my hands are trembling and I don't drink alcohol. Then you will ask, I don't know what is wrong with me. Some people will say I am cast. I don't know what is happening. My hands are just trembling. But the next, the, it is not usual for you to think that it could be your thyroid that is not working properly. I would want you to see the connection. So now the thyroid function is very important in our fertility. Now, let me see, address a little bit about the thyroid gland with our fertility, because some people will keep going to hospital into a fertility center and they will be treated so many other things except the thyroid. And so the problem will keep coming back and again and again. So the relationship between your thyroid function and your fertility is that your thyroid gland and the processes that are surround the endocrine system endocrine system is um is what is a system of all these glands that are working together because remember we've said that the thyroid gland cannot work with the, without the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland so i mean it's a whole you know glands and all these things so imagine if the thyroid gland is the one that helps the liver to be able to produce all these hormones. And some of these hormones we're talking about are the usual ones that we talk about. For a man, testosterone. You need testosterone hormone for you to be able to produce enough semen and uh, sperms and to be able to have quality sperms. So if your thyroid function is interfered with, then it means then that the production of testosterone will be interfered with. When the production of testosterone is interfered with, then you will not be able to produce quality sperms. And that explains how your fertility is affected. For a woman, if your thyroid gland is not functioning properly, then it means that you will not be able to manage your weight properly. So it will either be, you will either be underweight or overweight. You will not be able to control your weight properly. And when your weight is high, or even underweight, your fertility levels go low. Number two, your fertility level will go low because your thyroid gland will not be able to help product, produce and store enough progesterone and estrogen, the two very good hormones that help your body in the reproduction as a woman. These are the, also the two different beautiful hormones that help us with our menstrual cycle. That explains why when your thyroid function is either low, that is hypo, hypopa, hypothyroidism hypothyroidism hey i'm learning how to pronounce these things and if you're high if you if your uh, t3 and t4 are high that is hyperthyroidism it that explains why as a woman your menstrual periods have been affected so when it is high that you will have very light menstrual periods and some will disappear when it is low you will have very heavy and frequent uh, menstrual periods so your fertility your heart rate your breathing your brain function your muscle strength your body temperature your cholesterol levels and so much more even your nervous system is controlled by this one beautiful organ called the thyroid gland okay I hope so far we are doing well. I'm still, um, I, you know, this today's topic is very technical and it has, there's no way I could have looked for simpler words to use to, to have this conversation. So I hope and I pray that I am able to communicate and that you are able to understand what we are talking about. So the hypothalamus is the, the one that is in the brain helps uh, when it, it produces a hormone called TRH, then it is able to push the the prostate uh why did i say prostate the um thyroid gland so when it produces the it produces and controls the levels of t3 and t4 then your body function is proper so the best way you can help your body balance the th the t3 and t4 is by boosting the strength of your 
uh, the thyroid gland. Now let us, as I as I as I'm waiting for your uh, questions and your comments, let us conclude this conversation by asking then, how can we strengthen? How can we take care of our thyroid gland? How can we take care and how can we strengthen? What are some of the things that we can add to our diet or remove from our diet? What are some of the things we can do to our lifestyle and through and with our lifestyle so that we can have a strong and powerful and healthy and in the most natural way, a healthy thyroid gland. So Carol, your health coach is here. The first one, we have said that your thyroid gland needs iodine. Yes. When it is overproduced, when we overconsume it, as many of us are doing, we are overconsuming iodine by using table salt. So the first thing you can do, even if you're having, and these are some of the challenges we get. Uh, someone will ask me about goiter, and we'll have a conversation about goiter because this is also another whole topic that we can talk about. So instead of using the normal table salt that only that is highly iodized that is high high in sodium and it it lacks with uh you know it lacks many more minerals i urge you to switch to the pink himalayan salt the pink himalayan salt is rich in as many different minerals as much as your body needs our thyroid function is also boosted and encouraged to keep performing and not just the thyroid but our entire body systems it needs to keep to keep running and how do you keep it running physical exercise physical activity physical activity is exercise my dear friend we have to exercise we have to you know uh, in Swahili, we say kuchangamsha. We have to changamsha our system. I see our sister Jane nodding over there. Yes, Jane, we have to really <laughs> exercise. And exercise is good in so many different ways. As we keep talking about exercise, boosting our heart rate, boosting our mental state, encouraging our body to uh, our blood flow and all these things, physical activity helps your uh, your. Uh, your thyroid gland to be strong enough to perform its work. Number three, something else you can do to add to your to the strength. There is this friend of mine called the garlic, Kitungu Saumu. It is a friend of your thyroid. So if you have the different, it could be hyper or hyper, garlic is a friend to your thyroid gland. Something else that is a friend to your thyroid gland is coconut oil. Coconut oil helps you balance. It helps the balancing of T3 and T4. I am so proud of all of you who I'm seeing taking notes. I'm happy to see some of you, most of you not the, uh, just taking notes on notebooks, others with their laptops. I am so proud of you. I'm happy that you, we are learning something. So you can make coconut oil your friend. You can make probiotics your friends. We say that your gut health is very important and how we boost our gut health is using fermented products. You can ferment fruits, you can ferment foods, you can ferment herbal teas. We have tepache, we have kombucha, we have all these things. When I learn how to use this technology properly, we will have a class where we will learn how to prepare kombucha, how to prepare tepache. So someone should volunteer and show me how to use this technology. I only, for now, I only know how to do this. As we continue, I know Douglas will teach me something. So the beauty about using probiotics uh, it is able to help your, the balancing of your bacteria. Because remember, also your bacteria play a major role in your body processes and body functions. So some of these are some of the things that you can be able to do to help your body, you know, to help the, the thyroid function be able to balance. So you will ask me, what happens to that person who has already been diagnosed with hyper or hypothyroidism? You will ask me what happens to that man or woman who has already been diagnosed with hyper or hypothyroidism. I am going to answer this question immediately after this because I want to open this forum for two minutes to give a chance to someone who would want to ask a question or who would want to say something as I take a sip of water 
I am requesting that if you have a question or a comment, you go to your microphone, you unmute it, you first raise your hand if you can, and then you can say something and we can be able to learn together as we are just, we will continue with this conversation. Aha, now as, uh, is someone ready? Uh, there's a question here. Okay, Kenneth, you're ready? Go ahead. Okay, Kenneth. Hey, uh, good evening, uh, Carol. Good evening to you, Kenneth. Um, yeah, thank you for tackling that uh, topic today. Uh, basically, it's uh, actually I have one of my closest people who was diagnosed with it and uh, initially actually at the start it was a very big uh, challenge because uh, they first called it is it toxic goiter or something like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then uh, later yeah later she uh, when she got pregnant you know she had issues with the going to the hospital the doctor was like a little bit surprised you know you knew you had this condition why did you conceive it's like as if she was heading for disaster then okay. uh, of course one of the one of the consultants we visited was uh, was very helpful actually she can he cancelled her because she was almost uh, running mad i may say <laughs> so she she the the doctor has restored hope she went to one of the gynecologists and one of the i've forgotten the type of the other doctor but they were very good and she was able to give back normally wow yeah so though at the moment the the the, the challenge yeah she's having two, two kids now and they're doing well because mm -hmm. one of the things was like uh, the doctor said, on a, ba on, a bad, uh, on a bad day or on a bad luck, you can give birth to an abnormal children or something like that. Yes. But uh, good enough, uh, everything was okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, she's currently on some medication and uh, it seems to be uh, like permanent medication. It's like something which will be on for the rest of her life. I don't know whether there are any other remedies or that's how it's supposed to be. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Kenneth, for sharing your testimony. That is, uh, it is good. We appreciate you. Now we understand why you brought up this topic. For our new members, if you have any topic you would want us to talk about, kindly indicate it on our chat box and let us know what we can talk about. So, Kenneth, thank you very much. Uh, we are happy that she gave birth to her beautiful children and they are fine. Um, yes, she will be on medication for a while, but if we are able, if she is able to tweak um, the lifestyle and be able to change and live a healthier lifestyle and a better lifestyle with time, the medication can be dropped. But for now, she can take the medication. If she needs my services, she can reach out to me and I'll be able to help out on matters of diet and the different lifestyle choices that we have. Uh, uh -huh. So someone else is asking, I have hyperthyroidism. Currently, my joints, especially my knees, are the problem glad to learn would like to learn more on fermentation amazing thank you very much uh we are happy that this session was not in vain for you we are happy that you have learned about uh hypothyroidism and i'm happy and i'm hoping that you have learned how to manage it and you have not owned it because someday sometime i am optimistic it will disappear the joint pains and the knees we will be able to help them manage that pain we will be able to do this using our usual beautiful Epsom salt, pink Himalayan salt, black seed oils, and our Ebo immune booster. So if you need our services, let us know and we'll be able to do this. Uh -huh, ten, yes, we have few. Someone is asking for my email. Um, I will give it. Uh, Jackie is saying, uh, dear topic that I have to... Okay, fine. We, we release you, our dear friend Jackie. Uh -huh. Is thyroid function is okay. Uh -huh. We shall talk more about migraines. Migraines. Uh, Douglas, kindly note that we have a request of a topic on migraines. So thank you so much for 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 this request. Uh, or some, uh, 
<laughs> Makwasi, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. We will talk about migraines next week. For our new members, anyone who would want to say something as we conclude, we only have five minutes. I would like to see, I see Jane. Yes, Jane, go ahead. Thank you, Karon. You know, I'm wondering about the thyroid topic because I, I had been having pain in my joints throughout for almost 10 years now. I think I should be facing you very soon. <laughs> Welcome. I don't think it's arthritis. Now I believe it might not be arthritis. That's true. Thank you so much for the topic. You're Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you, Jen. Kwamboka, you want to say something? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I've been lifting my hands, but I was not visible. I decided to use my video. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, so I am new here. This, today is my first day. And I also came very late, so I'm not sure what you tackled and what you have not. But I'm glad I can see it being recorded, so if we could have the recording. Um, one thing I want to ask, I was diagnosed with the hyperthyroidism, and uh, that was a while back in 2016. And I was on medication for like a year, for one year, and then um, um, I left, I left the, the country and where I am now is like a long process before you get your personal doctor and all that. So it was a while before I saw um, a specialist. I stayed without medication all that time. I still am not on medication. And um, so they are still like what the specialist said is like, um, they want to know the root cause because they said I have like Graves disease. So they, are, they want to know the cause of that before they start medication and all that. But my question right now that's quite urgent is um, I'm using uh, vitamins and omega-3 because of the cold and all that. But then the other day I read somewhere that if you are hyper, if you have hyperthyroidism, I don't know if, you, if it was hyper or hypo, you're not supposed to use the supplements. Um, is that okay or not? Because I've been worried about that. All right. Uh, thank you, Pamboka, and welcome to our forum. Yes, I see people welcoming you and Jen and all the other new members. Pamboka, this is a platform where we have these conversations every Friday between 8 and 9 p.m. Kenyan East African time. And you are welcome every Friday to do this. So I would want to respond to you, but I see we have only three minutes. Kindly check our chat box. I have given my contact. Ah, oh, sorry, I've, I've written the wrong number, the, the wrong phone number. You can chat me on WhatsApp, 5471. Uh, my phone number is 07 uh, plus 254. Yeah. 711. Yeah. 1562. Mm -hmm. 15162. Number is plus two five four seven one one six two one five six three. Plus two five four seven one one six two one five six three. If you're not able to reach me on WhatsApp, you can send me an email cnga mga zero zero at gmail dot com cngamga00 at gmail.com and you can also reach me on my Facebook account Carol Nganga or my Facebook page fan page is Caroline N. Nganga I am also Rejuvenating Nature's Beam I am Health Sister Foundation and on YouTube I am Rejuvenating Nature's Beam uh, why I'm doing all this in a rush because we only have one minute and I want to say my goodbyes we always record our sessions and then we try and upload them on our YouTube channel. Please like our YouTube channel, share, 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 and then we will be able to learn much more. If you would want any further information, I am Carol, your health coach, always ready to answer your questions. And I am so proud. I am so proud of each one of you for logging in. And I am happy that we have been able to learn. So all the teams represented, Kwamboka here and Jane and Koi and all the new members, we have different teams. So we would want to know which country you are representing and then we will be able to upload you for who you for who you are representing so team uganda today again congratulations you have done it again we are clapping for you and team kenya is a challenge uh team uk uh team zambia i don't know where they have disappeared to team juba i know we have some few few people from south sudan so we appreciate you and we honor you 
Thank you so much for your time. I love you. I appreciate you. God bless you. And see you next week on Friday at 8 p.m. East African time.